this is speed okay so this is a normal speed that you know you see this the dst triangle right normal speed distance equal to speed times time so all you have to do is to take uh, you want to find distance you take speed times time you want to find speed what do you do right if you find speed what do you do we take distance divided by time yeah distance divided by time okay likewise if you need to find time what do you do distance divided by speed yeah this is so this is the normal one so now we're going slightly advanced okay we have the difference in distance is equal to difference in speed time to difference in time they call it the d minus s minus and the t minus okay another way to show this is just a just for a minus so this is the plus okay, okay. right so got three types or rather two additional types okay and we are going to just look at questions to see what they are all about okay okay can so so difficult speed question usually involve two or more right so you need to create the sum or the difference we call it the difference or the sum okay so uh, and in fact uh, there's a there's a third type uh, we call it the dst ratio later we'll see all right how it works so how many types are there in speed we have the uh, simple one two dst four. simple one then four. the minus the plus and the dst <laughs> ratio four. yeah so uh, i should say four uh, and four types, I am going to type three types. Okay, let's take a look at difference in speed. What type of question is this difference in speed? So, for example, at 7 a.m., a lorry started traveling from Amokyo to Bishan at an average speed of 60. Then at 9, a car started from the same location traveling to Bishan at an average speed of 90. How long does it take the car to pass the lorry? Yeah. Right? Looks difficult, right? Let's draw and see how it looks okay. like. Huh? Mm, so okay. we have uh, Amokyo and then they are traveling to Bishan at an average speed of 60. So the lorry started earlier, right? At what oh, time? I know how to do this. Yeah, so 730. 7.30 am. Okay, let, let's take a look first, right? See how it works. Then okay. later we got a lot of questions you can try. Okay. So from A to B, lorry uh, 7 30 am. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, 60 kilometers per hour. Alright, so at 9 a.m. a car started from the same location. Now, this is two hours later though. Two hours, sorry, one and a half one hours and a half. later. But by the time, one and a half hours later, the lorry is already here, right? And how far away is he? 60, uh, what was the distance that the lorry has covered? Until 9 a.m.? This is we our normal out. DST. Right, how do we know? How, how to uh, find so out? So we can draw DST. D is equal to Six. speed Sixty. times time. time. Alright, so here will be 60 times 1.5 is actually 90 kilometers. So the lorry has already traveled 90 kilometers. Now we haven't gotten to the minus part yet. We're still at this part. Mm -hmm. right? that sure? So now you have a car uh, started from the same location, which is here. So the car starts from here and it's traveling towards Bishan as well at the average speed of 90. So how long does it take the car to pass the lorry? So by the time the, law, the, the car starts, right? Now this is the one for the car. By the time the car started, the lorry is already 90. 90. So the difference in the distance is 90. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why you have a minus sign. Right? Difference in distance is 90. Now what is the difference in speed? 30. 30. How do we know that? One guy 90. is 90, the other guy is 60. 60. So difference in speed is this. So when we take difference, 30. Yeah, this divided by this, what do we get? We get the time. Uh, and this is actually 3, 3. because 90 divided by 30 is 3. But 3. the important thing is what is this 3? This 3 is actually the time it takes for the car to pass the lorry. Mm -hmm. So okay. three hours. Yes, it takes three hours. Oh, so long. Yeah, because the lorry is ahead. Right? Well, how come from Amokyo to Vishan so long? Uh, yeah, la, of course, this is, this is just a story uh, question, right? <laughs> Actually, Amokyo to Vishan is only five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can it be three hours, right? Three hours yeah. is like a little long. Maybe they take 
they walk, uh, they walk there. <laughs> walk there also not three hours, but that's a very good observation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sorry, but my it's just okay. Old. Excellent observation. Okay, so 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 this is how it works. You see, difference, <laughs> the difference, DST triangle. Mm, okay. okay. How about the sum? Have you learned this type difference? Never, right? Uh, later we're gonna try some question, right? Okay, the sum of speed together like this. So sometimes you need to add. Okay, under what type of situation? Let's take a look. So the distance between Yishun and Orchard is 40 kilometers. So a lorry travels from Yishun to Orchard at 40 kilometers per hour. At the same time, a car travels from Orchard to Yishun. So now we have Yishun and Orchard. And we have a lorry. Lorry is here driving this direction and we have a uh, what do you have on the other side a car car is traveling this direction so they are trying to meet the question is uh, at what time how long does it take for them to pass pass means they meet meet right okay so what is the lorry speed <coughs> 40 and what is the car speed 60 okay this is a plus sum why? Because they're trying to meet. They're coming towards each other. What you have to do is to add them. That means you take 60 plus 40. You add their speed. Okay. So it goes 100. to 100. Remember, this is still a DST. Eh? This okay. is D. This is S. This is T. Okay, but it's a DST plus All right. triangle. So the sum of their speed, which is 100. Right? Because now we want to find the time that they'll meet. Right, we have to uh, put the distance. The distance is 40 because the distance is still 40 between Yishun and Orchard. Now, this makes more sense, okay? Right, so D is 40. Right, so how to find the time? This divided by this. Yes. So we take 40 divided by 100 equals to 0 0.4 hours. Now, what is 0 0.4 hours equal to? 24 minutes. Yeah, so okay. it's 24 minutes. So it takes them 24 minutes, minutes. to meet. Meet each other. Okay, so far do you understand DST minus DST plus? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you tell me what is DST minus used for? Okay, what is DST plus used for? Um, why, why do you need to add their speed? Because we want to find uh, they are uh, like... And they come to a certain point to meet. Mm, that means they are traveling towards each, each other. other. So the plus usually is when they are trying to... Uh, um, they are coming towards each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, then how about the minus? What is the minus for? The one they are... Uh, catching up. Catching up, yeah. Ah, very good. Okay, so you must remember the uh, difference is catching up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what have we covered so far? We covered this. Let, let's try and write that down. Some is when they are... Uh, they are crashing, uh. Okay, okay, don't use crashing. Uh. Sounds so bad. Uh. Oh, meeting. <laughs> uh, meeting. Meeting. Okay, how about difference? Catching up. Catching up. Very good. Okay, generally it's like that, alright? Generally, it's not always like this. Okay, so we got one more to go. The DST ratio. Mm -hmm. DST ratio. No, I'm not sure, have you seen DST ratio before? Those are one of the most difficult type of speed question you will ever see okay maybe i show you the question first uh. take a look can you find out do you know what to do with this DST ratio. You know what to do? May I just try first? Okay, try first. Yeah. 